In this video, we will look at a few examples to practice working with congruent statements. In example A, it says, write a congruent statement for the two triangles below. So remember that a congruent statement is just a way to say that two triangles are congruent. So what you should do is start by just saying triangle and start with the triangle on the left. So I'm going to call it RTS. In this case, it doesn't matter the orders that you pick or the order that you pick for the letters. That's fine. And we'll say that's congruent to triangle. And here's where you have to be careful. You have to make sure you put the three letters in the second triangle in the same order as RTS so that the corresponding parts match up. So let's look at the triangles. We started with R and angle R matches with angle F and we can tell that by the angle markings that each have one arc. So that means I have to start with F for my triangle on the right. Next I had T in my RTS. That means my next letter in the other triangle has to be D because that matches up with T. And finally we will end with E because that's the letter that's left. So this is one possible congruent statement. Keep in mind you could have chosen any order for the letters RTS as long as you made sure that they matched how you did the triangle FDE. So you could have said triangle TSR is congruent to triangle DEF and that also would be correct. So there's multiple ways to answer this question and you're right as long as your letters match up correctly. Okay, let's go to example B. If triangle CAT is congruent to triangle DOG, what else do you know? Let's just draw a picture. So CAT is congruent to triangle DOG. Now remember that a congruent statement means that the letters have to match up. So because C came first in the triangle on the left, it means it has to be congruent to D, which is the first letter for the triangle on the right. So C is congruent to D, A is congruent to O, and T is congruent to G. So those are three things that we know. Angle C is congruent to angle D, angle A is congruent to angle O, and angle T is congruent to angle G. We also know something about the side lengths because the corresponding side lengths also have to be congruent. CA will have to be congruent to DO because those are the sides in between the 1 and 2 angle markings. So CA is congruent to DO. Going around the triangle next we hit AT and OG which also have to be congruent. And finally, CT and DG are congruent as well. So anytime you know two triangles are congruent and you have a congruent statement, you will always know six pieces of information, three about angles and three about sides. All right, let's look at example C. If triangle BUG is congruent to triangle ANT, what angle is congruent to angle N? So notice that angle N is the second letter in ANT, so it has to match the second letter in BUG. So that means angle N has to be congruent to angle U. So the ang answer would be angle U.